Wake up! Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a merciless deluge of pain and suffering. But in like a no pressure, let's all have fun kind of way. Except, you know, I will kill people. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life. In one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey, look! We've got an audience playing along, too! Tell you what, at the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins, everyone in the audience dies. I was told people might like to play it over Twitch. I'm not sure what Twitch is, but I like the sound of it. Twitch. Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on like the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game already! Okay, first question. For the next question, don't look down at your crotch. What three letters appear on 90% of all zippers? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos in the audience, too. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I keep thinking I should get a set of matching chalices, but each of these tells a unique story, you know? <laughs> the drinks have been drunk. Now let's see what everyone drank. You got poison, son! So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. Even death doesn't get you at a trivia murder party. And now, the scoreboard! Wait, that's supposed to be a scareboard! Dang it! I messed up the joke. Uh, just forget it. It's a scoreboard, okay? It's a scoreboard. Oh, and let's pay attention to the audience for a moment. They get lonely. Okay. Respectable work, audience. Let's try another one. Who's got the biggest head? said this hmm, too easy next question if you order an ahi roll at a sushi restaurant what are you getting Go someplace fun. 
Welcome back to the killing floor. Time to explore the magical world of words. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I got my love for word games from my grandmother. And also my love for murder. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. Start poking those letters with your fingers. The letters don't have to touch each other. And remember to press submit when you're done. See what you could come up with. Here it comes. <laughs> Let's take a peek at those scores. Who's feeling the pressure? Here's another one. Where were the 2010 Winter Olympics held? And the correct answer is... This one. I want to show you something. Nothing brings out the best in people like a big pile of cash. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Don't be shy. Talk it out. <laughs> Time for the reveal. Sometimes betrayal is totally worth it. Aww, I'm gonna enjoy this. I've got more questions for you. How does the Twilight Zone episode Time Enough at Last end? And the correct answer is... This one. I have a surprise for you. Ugh, look at this mess. There's blood all over this art. I think I'm using the wrong type of lid for this jar of blood. I really need to get out all the lids and match them, but that's gonna take like a whole afternoon. Memorize the pattern of blood. Alright, that's enough time. It's been like 30 seconds since the last time I checked, so let's see what's happening on Instagram. Uh, darn it! My pick from a day ago is still at 10 likes. It has to get to at least 11 or it looks terrible. Ugh, I am literally dying. That's it. I didn't want to do this but I'm gonna like my own post. I just have to. All right, time to move on. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red, then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Yes! 
Here's that art again. Now it's time to show your work. Perfect scores all around. It's just gonna make killing you sweeter down the line. How about this? Without receiving special permission, what is the highest number an NFL quarterback can wear? game. I'll go first. 14. Now I need a little help from a safe player. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. I guess someone's too afraid to make enemies. Roll lower than me. That's what you needed. I thought these dice were rigged. Uh. Let's try another one. Ooh, here's a sexy one. How many inches of floss should you floss with, according to the American Dental Hygienist Association? Test your memory. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. And while we have a second, I'd like to take a moment and let you know that the brown-footed lemur is almost extinct through the deforestation of Madagascar. So if you care about the planet like I do, here's what you can do. Oh, a Google alert. They're extinct. Never mind. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. Hey, remember this? How did you do? Wow, you all have such good memories. I won't forget this. <sighs> Today's the day. I'm going to look at myself naked in the mirror. I'm not going to chicken out this time. It's going to happen. Let's try this again. Here's a question that's near and dear to my spleen. How many circles of hell are in the inferno?
And the correct answer is... This one. I have a surprise for you! It's time for some number fun! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst, dies. Let's kick some math. You look like you're concentrating too hard. You're approaching the math finish line. Here it comes. I know, math is evil, even for me. Alright, next question. I'm looking for a new pet, but I want something with a scary name. This labradoodle just isn't doing it for me. What type of animal is a hellbender? And the correct answer is... This. Only a ghost got it wrong. Lame. Let's see... This next question... Hmm... I don't really like that one. No. No. Too easy. Man, the rest of these questions are not up to my usual standards. Maybe it's time to cut our losses. We no longer have the luxury of a slim chance of survival. Only one of you is surviving this one. That's why you're all gonna take turns spinning the loser wheel! Let's go in order starting with the least money. Let's go- Oh, I just love it when she spins! Oh, what an unexpected result. Ah! Who's next? Sorry, I guess the instructions were confusing. Sp ah! Round and round she goes, where she stops. Hard to beat those odds, and you didn't. Ah! Moving on. Nobody keeps the- Ooh! Spin, spin, spin! Very good. You're safe. For now. Your turn! Why aren't you spinning the wheel? I'm really confused. Spin, spin, spin. And the loser wheel has chosen. Just one of you left. We did it, everyone! Now come with me. I saved the best for last. Congrats on making it here alive! Now let's see if you can escape with your body! I'm going to give you a category. Countries that border China. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. See the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Oh, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. 
and ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. is right on your tail. Watch out! European capitals. Should be. Wu Tang clan members. countries. Consume you. Laxative brands. This is gonna get ya! It's lights out for you! Left-handed NBA players.
so much blood! Eternal suffering awaits. The Daily Show alumni. Up. Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a slow descent into permanent madness, but without all the preachy morality of those other serial killers. Okay, I can pick up social cues, I'll shut up, let's start the game. First question. Salam, you know what I'm saying?
And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. I hope you're not fond of snapping. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. Easy, right? All you have to do is endure blinding pain. <laughs> chop. Chop. Cut him off with a big old chop. Thanks for the finger food. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't eat them. I know where they've been. Here's how everyone's doing so far. Higher scores are better than lower scores, FYI. Oh, and let's see how the audience is doing. Well, the audience is in it, but it could really go either way. Alright, next question. If you've ever been to my dentist, you should know this. Who appeared on the cover of the first issue of Entertainment Weekly magazine in 1990? said this one <laughs> everyone is wrong let's play a game welcome back to the killing floor we're going to play chalices there are eight chalices half of them are poisoned pick a chalice to drink from I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited to show off my Dallas collection. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. Life is pain. I've seen people drink cinnamon shots before, but poison? That's a first. And here's your scores, my little dumplings. Let's try this again. The hard part about making a latex Jake Gyllenhaal suit is getting the dimensions just right. According to IMDB, how tall is Jake Gyllenhaal? Time's running out. Who said this? The rest of you who are still alive, prepare for your punishment. Let's have some fun with spelling. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It wasn't easy to make this whole letter grid thing work on your phone, so you're welcome. I'm going to hurt the person with the shortest word. Begin. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. Yeah. 
I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Let's see what you came up with. Nope, bad spelling. And ties are verboten. I just read the fountainhead, so I only reward winners. Let's try another one. Who lives in the giant clock in the land of make-believe on Mr. Rogers Neighborhood? cash in here. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Huddle up and talk about your strategy, dingalings. Let's see who was a jerk and who was a sucker. Whoops, you did just what I hoped you'd do. <laughs> the whittling down to just one player has finally come to fruition. Let's do this. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Goosebumps books. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Here's another one. The price is right, games.
beware of the darkness. The seven habits of highly effective people. Just gonna catch ya. Now can you play with me forever? Australian cities. before the others catch you. Candy bars with nougat.
wake up. Come on, wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, a gauntlet of pain and judgment. But don't worry, it's still a pretty chill night, you know? I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Oh, and hey look, we've got an audience playing along too. At the end of the game, if the audience has less money than the player who wins, everyone in the audience dies. It's really helping me bring my killing into the digital age. Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on like the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game. Okay now, first question. Which body of water becomes unusually warm due to El Nino? And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing floor. You know what you can always count on? Math. Literally. Ha! Ah! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. The person who does the worst, dies. Math time! Let's go! Come on, you can do this! Math! 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 Get a few more questions in, you egghead. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. But deep down, didn't you know one day math would kill you? And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. Oh, and let's check out the audience score. Hang in there, audience. You're doing so-so-ish. All right, next question. What's the name of Willie Nelson's legendary guitar? Starting out. And the correct answer is this. The rest of you. Let's go someplace fun. Hey girl! Welcome back to the killing floor. It's time for some finger cutting. My collection is running a little low. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's so easy. Easier than cutting off a toe. Ugh, don't get me started on those. Ah! Aim for the tendon. Ah! It puts the finger in the basket. Let's take another moment to appreciate this cool scoreboard, huh? How about this? 
This question will be read in iambic pentameter. Or not. It's not like you would know the difference. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are characters from which Shakespeare play? Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's hide my toys. I hope your memory's better than mine. All day I've been trying to remember the name of that guy from that HBO show. Man, who is that? I think his first name starts with a C? Or an L? Ugh, it's driving me bananas. You know what? Forget it. Let's just get back to the cards. Brian Ben Ben! That's it. Okay. Good. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If you do the worst, you'll die of embarrassment. And also actually die. I should have led with that one. This was the pattern, you silly gooses. How close did you get? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Shout out to all my dead people. Looking good. I've got more questions for you. InGen was the evil company in what film franchise? Someplace fun. We're going to play chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to poison. And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. And don't slurp when you drink. That drives me nuts. Mmm. <laughs> Hope it tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. You got the good stuff. Poison is a rough way to go. Let's try another one. In Logan's run, life must end at which age? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
And the correct answer is... This. Let's play a game. Fight! 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 You can attack someone else. You could defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Okay, make your choices. You know, life is all about making choices. Well, that's what it says on this inspirational poster anyway. I bet you feel dumb for defending when no one even cared enough to attack you. And if you don't feel dumb now, this should help. You can see the full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website. And truth be told, I could really use the traffic. I've been trying to use social media, but it's not working. Next question. What does the P in zip code stand for? said this one I have a surprise for you well 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 there seems to be a pile of money on the floor I just don't trust banks ever since I saw it's a wonderful life take as much money as you want but take the most money or the least money and you'll be sorry Take what is yours. Ah! Let's see how much money everybody shoved in their pockets. It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. I'm not really sure why the person who took the least amount needs to get punished. I guess it's just a game balancing thing. But hey, you don't need to hear me go on and on about that kind of stuff. Oh, look. Only one player left. Perfect. Glad to see you've made it here alive. But can you escape with your body? I'm going to give you a category. Rogers and Hammerstein musicals. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. See the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. Aww, you have to get answers right to get closer to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Here's another one. 
Trivial Pursuit Genus Edition Categories. Stay out of the shadows. Rodents. Function drugs. ingredients. on this. Countries with capitals that start with B.
<laughs> Hi, the party's downstairs. Come on in. trapped down here with me we're all dreading what he'll carry out then all at once we hear him shout it's a trivia murder party and i'm your crazy host you better answer carefully or be turned into a ghost Maybe if your luck holds out, you'll get out of here alive. <laughs> I beg and plead and beg some more. But he drags me onto the killing floor. Well, there's nowhere out that I can find. And there's a pack of ghosts that's right behind. It's a trivia murder party, and I'm your crazy host. You better answer carefully or be turned into a ghost. There's no point in you running. You probably won't survive. But maybe if your luck holds out, you'll get out of here alive. Try not dying inside this game show hell. 